A major earthquake rocked the central region of the U.S. early this morning. The U.S. Geological Survey reported a magnitude of 7.7, .7, the largest ever in that region since 1812. As emergency workers were frantically trying to access the area and do what they could to evacuate survivors, without warning, the unthinkable, a secondary 6.0 magnitude quake ripped through the central U.S. region two hours into the disaster. Emergency workers again frantically trying to get into the area to search the rubble for survivors. This is a validation, given the number of senior leaders from, the OS, from OSD who have come in to this uh, exercise, willing to listen, observe, and more importantly, take action if necessary, so that it's institutionalized, becomes a part of our culture and how we operate in the battle space, whether it's a humanitarian assistance, disaster relief, or operational campaign plan. We're firmly entrenched and integrated into any of the operational plans of Manila. We within the contracting community realize the importance that uh, operational contract support um, provides on the battlefield. We're training ourselves to be able to leverage contracted support in a major contingency. It's been a coalition effort between the Air Force, the Army, the Navy, the Marines, and, and several other agencies. And uh, because of the value that we know that this provides to the Department of Defense, you know, we've been all in for making this thing successful. This exercise uh, incorporated the DCMA folks uh, in the whole exercise from beginning to end because we do play such an important part in the oversight of contracts once they're awarded. Um, based on the Gansler study in 2007, um, it was uh, clearly recognized that we needed more contract oversight in the battle space and so having us involved in this exercise will strengthen um, the DOD organization for the next uh, contingency, wherever that may be. The nation demands that we are more efficient and effective with the resources they provide us, and we're going to do that within the contracting and the, and the planning community. This is the first major, major exercise at the joint level where we're actually working those issues across the services, across the joint community, and with a uh, combatant command sponsor. So this is an extraordinarily important event, and it's helping to institutionalize what we've learned through 13 years of hard war uh, over and over again in Iraq and Afghanistan and on the periphery on what we have to do. Uh, in its in this kind of well I, you know what let's cut uh, dang. just the environment and
Uh, yep. Yes, no, I'm good. Uh, yeah, please repeat the question. 